We'll just get everything that needs to be painted out and I'll go ahead and get it painted. I'll have to tape that axle up Okay. And usually when we get all these parts for the frame and suspension, you know, they're just black and us painters don't have to pull with it. But our mechanic came over this morning and said, man, I got some uh, presents for you. He said we had a bunch of suspension parts and, and frame parts to be painted on a really cool truck. It's got a white frame. So we're uh, getting these parts ready today. We're going to scuff them up and sand them get them hung up, and uh, get them in the booth and spray them. Kingpins. Wow. These. Uh, yeah. We're gonna get a forklift. Move that box if you don't care, Chad. I'll go ahead and take that over there. I'm gonna paint some of that stuff. Oh, oh. This stuff? Yep. Dang, man. That's a lot of stuff. This? Yep. No, I'm gonna make it. That's the way to hit his tail. Lots of stuff to paint. Golly, that thing's heavy. Hey, put that hook in there for me. All right. He might straighten this hook out. Probably want to do the other end, uh, the big end. I think the little end goes on there very good. Let's put it in that end out there. Oh, we better put it in that one over there. It's way too little. I can't believe it's that heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. Golly. It's a putting on a truck. Dang, son, that thing is heavy.
What color is that watch? It's called a uh, Diamond Watch. I looked for that cedar belt book in there. No, it's got the code on it. Yeah, I can't find that cedar belt book either. So what we need to do right here, Brandon? That wire might hold it, but might not. There she goes. Tighten itself as it pulls its top on it. So. These we ain't painting. But I don't know how the heck we're gonna hang an axle. Lots well, of tiny little crevices on these parts. I got way too big of hands for this job. We gotta paint it from all angles, so if we just lay one on a stand, obviously we are only gonna to to do one side, so we'll hang them up. That way we can get all the corners and crevices of these little things when we spray them. Of course, these trucks were sprayed this truck, the frame was sprayed when all this was on it. So uh, we're getting to do the fun part of having to spray it before it gets pieced back together by our mechanics. And the most fun part is getting off all these stickers that they put on. You can see they just tear and then leave all that residue. And then I have to clean it up and get it off. But nothing a little lacquer thinner and razor blade won't take care of. Now the next step after I've blown everything off, we're gonna take some uh, good pre-clean and clean these things up really nice, get all the wax and grease and any contaminants off of it before we take it into the booth and spray it. Luckily, these are new parts and there's not grease and oil and diesel and everything scattered and splattered all over them. It's a brand new part, you can see what comes off of it. So we don't wanna spray over that. We want, to, we want to get it as clean as we can. In reality, there's a lot of work that goes into taking these trucks apart, putting them back together, and these guys, Chad, he's, uh, he's the man at doing that. And it's pretty wild how fast these guys get these trucks taken apart and, and put back together here. So it makes, my, it makes my job a lot easier getting to work with, with some pretty good guys. Chad, tell them, tell them a little bit about what you're doing right here besides hooking me up and helping me with these parts. Paper the stuff up on the axle that don't need to get paint on it. Yeah, we don't want to paint. We don't want to paint any of that stuff and make his life any harder than it already is. Chad really likes it when we put lots of paint on the thread of anything that we do, new doors or or any of these parts. He likes it when we coat them with lots of paint, so he has to fight and, and cuss to get the to get the bolts and stuff back in. I've got the parts hung up, got them sanded, got them scuffed, got them looking good, nice and clean. We are now rolling them into the booth, and now we are going to spray these babies. Uh, well, diamond white is what the color is called, diamond white. Uh, it's a very pretty Peterbilt. It came in this morning looking like it had been completely mangled, and uh, in no time flat, we're going to have that baby back on the road hauling freight or whatever it is that it hauls. How in the world am I going to paint the axle? Let's see how heavy it is. I'm going to carry it if you are. It's not hurt your back. You can come curl it. I can get that by myself. Sit on it. An extra 220 pounds. We're gonna have to. We'll have to flip it. Uh, let's just set it down for a second. A one person job. Off. Ready? One, two, three. Scoot this in a little bit to the center. Oh, no. This in, see that middle bolt hole out there? Perfect. That's why I think we can Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Come on, dude. It wasn't that much.
That's my bell rope. Last one. There you go. Up, up, and away. What about that? <laughs>